These people just cut down a Christmas tree in a protected national forest in Wyoming. How dare they? Well, actually, this is legal and even encouraged. Let me give you the details. If you live near any of these national forests, which exist in almost every state except for Hawaii, Iowa, Kansas, and a few states on the East Coast, you can participate in this cool program promoted by the Department of the Interior. According to recreation.gov, the U.S. government actually wants your help thinning out small diameter trees in national forests. So you can apply for a permit on this website and I'll show you how. Just go to the Christmas tree permit page on recreation.gov and search for your national forest to see if it's on the list this year. Mine is Bridger Teton National Forest in Jackson Hole, so I plug that in and press get started. Next, make sure you familiarize yourself with all the rules of the Christmas tree program for your national forest. For instance, I'm not allowed to go and cut down a tree in the middle of Jackson Hole Mountain Resort, even though that's technically in the national forest. Then familiarize yourself with the directions given so that you're actually making sure you're getting the right tree and helping the ecosystem instead of hurting it. Then go to purchase the tree permit, make sure you're within these dates when you go to cut, and you can get a maximum of five and they're 15 bucks a piece plus tax. I think this is a pretty good deal because the average cost of a Christmas tree in 2020 was $81 and it's probably 150 by now. Then load up the Griswold Woody Wagon with your family and go get your tree. Merry Christmas from Uncle Sam.